Hey, good day people, it's Matt here from Matt Car. So today I am carving a bull's head skull out of these. And these are wagon wheel spokes, uh, very old, and they look very crusty from the outside, but inside is a beautiful redwood called Jara. And I'm gonna use this as the baseboard, and I'm gonna carve this skull out of this as well. So let's put that to one side. Okay, so also I'm gonna show you, halfway through the video, roundabouts, how to carve in three dimensions. And this is a real handy trick um, on how to balance a sculpture out. And all sculptors do it from, you know, Michelangelo to myself. Um, obviously a lot of artists in between me and Michelangelo. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how artists go about sculpting in three dimensions. And it's very simple, don't need any tools, and it gives you a great balance of your sculptor. Sculpture, sculpture, sculptors, sculpture. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so how do we balance a sculpture? How do we make it look great from every angle? And the trick really is to look at it from every angle all the way through the carve. So even if you have to set a timer for two minutes and then that'll remind you to look at that side and then back at that side, you know, you're continually moving it and looking at all the shapes. So you don't wanna like do all of this and then work out that you've left that shape in the wrong area. So really it's a little dance that you're doing, moving it around, feeling it in your hands. You know, you don't sculpt with just your eyes, your, your hands are feeling the shapes of it. And you're gonna end up with something like this at the end. And it's not perfect, you know, it's not symmetrical. It looks symmetrical, but if I was to get a ruler or, you know, a measuring tape and measure this side to this side, uh, these angles are going to be out, but that's not what's important. It's what is important is that it looks like it's balanced. So the next part is, is we're going to attach the bull's head onto the backboard and I am using a wagon wheel for that as well. Uh, so first we're going to clean it up and we're going to do it with this machine here, uh, with this attachment here. It's an evil looking attachment and uh, you've got to be careful using this one. <laughs> 